Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Anthony. Today's video is a big one everybody, so prepare yourself. But anyways, as you guys can read by the title, today I'm going to be bringing you all things that you didn't know about Minecraft. Now, if you guys do enjoy today's video, then be sure to give this video a like rating. Now, if this video is able to hit over 15,000 likes, then I will upload 75 things that you didn't know about Minecraft. But anyways, enough of me rambling, let's go ahead and get straight into this ginormous video. I hope you all enjoy it. When Minecraft was first created, it was previously known as Cave Game. The person who purchased the one millionth copy of Minecraft actually received a special cape. It is not possible to destroy the nether star with any form of explosions. Minecraft is now over 7 years old. An egg has a 1 in 256 chance to spawn 4 chickens at once. The first development phase of Minecraft only lasted 6 days. Minecraft is currently the best selling PC game of all time selling over 24 million copies. Zombies can see players from up to 40 blocks away whereas other mobs can only see the player from up to 16 blocks away. In the PC version of Minecraft there are currently 370 splashes that can be shown on the main menu. If you look closely the new boats that were added actually have moss growing underneath them. The Minecraft logo used to be different and it was made out of cobblestone. Standing inside of a cobweb will absorb some of the damage from TNT and creepers. When cows were first added in to Minecraft they didn't have horns on their head. You can make a creeper explode by using flint and steel. Critical hits can only be done when falling and not jumping. If you jump and hit the mob you won't get a critical hit but if you hit them while falling you will get a critical hit. Back in the earlier days of Minecraft dirt slabs were planned to be added into the game however here we are six years later and we still don't have them. The dual wielding feature that was added in the 1.9 update was originally planned to be added in the 1.3 update. When end portals were first added, the texture for the end portal frame looked completely different to how they look today. You have a higher chance of catching a fish when it's raining. Fence gates will actually be lowered if they are attached to cobblestone walls. You can avoid most of the damage from TNT by placing glass in front of you. You can change the colour of a tamed wolf's collar by using any dye. The original steel skin had a beard. This was likely changed due to some players thinking it was a smile. You can tell if your tamed wolf's health is low or not, judging by how high or low its tail is. As you can see, when you give it food, its tail will rise. Zombies will drop their head if they are killed by charged creepers. Back in the earlier days of Minecraft, the crafting table was originally called a workbench. The elytra item is actually a reference to the wing cap item Mario wears in the game Super Mario. Mario 64. Great game by the way. Rabbits used to be bigger in Minecraft 1.8 whereas in Minecraft today they are a lot smaller. The iron sword's texture was actually taken from Notch's unfinished game Legend of the Chambered. The apple's texture was also taken from Legend of the Chambered. Endermites will suffocate and die if they are on soul sand. When endermen were first added they originally had green eyes and emitted black smoke instead of having purple eyes and emitting purple particles. Baby Zombie Pigman dropped the most XP out of any other mob in the game apart from boss mobs. The best way to avoid damage from skeletons is to dig a two block gap and stand inside of it and you will notice the skeleton arrows won't deal damage to you. Back in the earlier days of Minecraft you could only find three strongholds per world whereas in Minecraft today you could find 128 strongholds per world. The legs of a bed turn completely invisible when you go underneath it. Before biomes were added into Minecraft, worlds looked like this. As you can see, they look a lot different as the grass is a very bright green colour. The bottom part of cacti is actually a recoloured texture of wood. Chickens were originally bred using wheat, whereas in Minecraft today, they're bred with seeds. Zombies will not burn in daytime if they are inside of a cobweb. You are actually able to find your spawn with a compass with 
without actually crafting it. Just simply lay out the recipe in the crafting table and as you can see the compass will point towards spawn. Creepers will drop a music disc if they are killed by a skeleton. Dead bushes drop sticks. If you fall from a large height into an end portal then upon entering the end you will be greeted with death. Right clicking on a creeper in spectator mode will actually provide you with the creeper's vision which I think looks pretty cool. Endermen used to be able to burn in daylight. Back in the earlier days of Minecraft, Notch, the creator of the game, planned to add exploding arrows but it sadly never made it into the final game. Placing carpets on top of fences are a great way of getting in and out of farms. This is useful because hostile mobs are not actually able to jump over the fence. You can actually make a staircase by using fences and carpets. It's impossible to hit an enderman with an arrow, egg or snowball. As of the Minecraft 1.10 update, endermen can now spawn in the nether. Back in the earlier days of Minecraft, food was not stackable which was very annoying for players. If your nether portal breaks in the nether, then don't worry, a ghast can actually reactivate it for you with their fireball. The crafting recipe for the enchanted golden apple has been removed as of the 1.9 combat update which means they can only be found in generated structures. This is how it used to be crafted. The green villager remained unused for a very long time in Minecraft but they've finally officially been added in Minecraft 1.11. If you fall from a height onto hay bale then it reduces the fall damage by 80%. Boats travel insanely fast on ice. Iron golems cannot take fall damage. When the killer bunny was first added into Minecraft it actually had a 1 in 2500 chance to naturally spawn. However you can only spawn them using commands now. There is a 1 in 10,000 chance that the Minecraft logo will say Mincecraft instead of Minecraft. Hostile mobs will not spawn in mushroom biomes, including the caves underneath the biome. When villagers were first added, they had a name tag above their head that read Testificate. The missing no splash is actually a reference to the infamous Pokemon glitch found in the first generation of Pokemon games, Missing No. As of the Minecraft 1.11 update, you can properly use name tags on villagers without opening the training interface. Spawning a bed in the nether will cause it to explode and potentially kill the player. If you save and quit the world right before you hit the ground, then you will not take any full damage upon entering the world again. Before the beta 1.8 update, players could not sprint as it was not yet added, meaning it was a lot harder to outrun mobs. Ocelots will attack and kill chickens. If you kill a zombie pigman in one hit then the rest of the pigman won't aggro towards you. You can fill a large area completely with water if you place the water diagonally and do the following. Around Christmas time the chest texture will actually change to a Christmas present texture. In an unused area for the zombie pigman texture the words thanks Zophobia can be seen. This was written by Notch to give credit and thanks to the original creator of the zombie pigment texture. Minecraft is actually harder around Halloween time as zombies, skeletons, wither skeletons and zombie pigmen can spawn with pumpkins on their head which means they won't burn during daytime. The quiver item was an item that could be used to hold arrows and it was going to be added in the 1.9 update but it was sadly abandoned. You can make a rainbow sheet by using the name tag Jeb underscore. As of the Minecraft 1.9 update you can respawn the ender dragon by using end crystals. In the first development phase of Minecraft you actually left clicked to place blocks and right clicked to destroy blocks which as most of you know is not how it is today. The poppy flowers you can find in your world actually replaced the rose flower which quite a few players were sad about including myself. In the beta 1.9 version of Minecraft the appearance of the sun was changed from square to a more rounded look but this change was shortly reverted back to how it looks today. The first ever texture given to cobblestone was actually taken from Notch's unfinished game Ruby Dung. You can always get four blocks of wool from a sheep by doing the following. So if you punch a sheep seven times, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then punch and shear the sheep at the same time and you will get four blocks of wool. You can breed two different sheep with colors that can be combined to form a 
new colour. During the snapshots of Minecraft 1.9, the boat's crafting recipe was altered to have an additional shovel as well as the five wood planks, but this change was later reverted. Sheep can still eat grass through half slabs. The higher your difficulty is, the more accurate a skeleton will be with their bow and arrow. Back in the earlier days of Minecraft, using a potion of invisibility on a sheep was kind of useless. I'm sure you can see why. Skeletons have a 5% chance to spawn with a bow in their left hand. You are able to sleep during daytime if there is a thunderstorm. Placing a slime block right before you hit the ground can actually save your life. You can shear the pumpkin off a snow golem's head. In earlier versions of Minecraft, skeletons and zombies would not burn in daylight if they were standing on soul sand. Placing a bow on a slime block will cause the player to launch up into the air when they get inside the boat. You can change the mob that spawns from a spawner by using a spawn egg, which is very useful for map makers. You can control the speed of spectator mode by using the scroll wheel on your mouse. This is very useful for making cinematics. Standing on soul sand in the overworld will actually make the sky darker. Back in the earlier days of Minecraft, cobblestone used to craft stone slabs. Your own tamed wolf will attack you if you hit yourself with an arrow. If a vindicator is given the name tag Johnny, then they will attack any nearby mobs. Back in the earlier days of Minecraft, zombies used to drop feathers. If a villager is struck by lightning, it will actually turn into a witch. The wither boss will attack all living entities, including the ender dragon. Wild wolves will attack skeletons, sheep, and rabbits. The green liquid in the zombie pigment texture was originally going to be red to resemble blood. In Minecraft Alpha, creating a world had a 1 in 4 chance to spawn with a certain world type known as winter mode, where it would constantly be snowing. You are not able to see a player's name through a painting. Minecraft has sold more than 100 million copies of the game across PC, console, and pocket edition. All mob heads will actually give the soul sand particle effect when they're destroyed. In older versions of Minecraft, a tamed wolf's collar would still remain visible when hit with a splash potion of invisibility. Back in the earlier days of Minecraft, snow golems would actually fire snowballs at the player if the player was holding wheat. There is a 5 second queue timer after hitting a mob, so no matter if I kill this pig or not, it is still going to drop XP within the 5 seconds. Back in the earlier days of Minecraft, potions were actually originally brewed with cauldrons instead of using a brewing stand. The new llamas added in 1.11 do not like wild wolves, as they will attack any nearby wolf by spitting at them. Hostile mobs are not able to see the player if they are standing in too tall sugarcane or too tall grass. The achievement for crafting a cake is called the lie, which is actually a reference to the cake is a lie from the popular Valve game Portal. You are actually able to swim up water streams through chests. Gunpowder was originally called sulfur. Activated TNT is able to fall up to 72 blocks before exploding. If you teleport another player while they're sleeping, then they'll actually be teleported in the sleeping position. You can create a castle looking wall by placing string on top of each cobblestone wall. If you look closely at the corner rail, you can see that it closely resembles the stone pickaxe. You can have multiple beacon colours by using different stained glass colours. Back in the earlier days of Minecraft, you were actually able to milk squids with a bucket. Pretty strange to be honest, but okay. Squids are actually able to spawn on magma blocks. If ice is placed underneath soul sand, then you will travel extremely slow on it. Back in the earlier days of Minecraft, as you can see on screen, items used to stack up to 99 instead of 64, which as most of you know, is how it is today. In earlier versions of Minecraft, slimes were not actually able to swim and would just simply drown. Rest in peace, slime.
slime. You are unable to sleep while being poisoned. Back in the earlier days of Minecraft, sugarcane was originally called reeds as you can see on screen. You are able to jump over large gaps by shooting yourself with a punch to enchanted bow. Pumpkin stems will always point in the northwest direction regardless of how you place them. Throwing a splash potion on top of your head is more efficient than throwing it at your feet as the status effect will last slightly longer. Slimes will not spawn in swamp biomes if there is a new moon at night time. This is what a new moon looks like. In older versions of Minecraft, destroying tall grass would actually show the peony texture. Potion particle effect colours will actually mix and combine together to form a new particle colour. The texture on the back of a painting is the same texture as wooden planks. Minecraft was first given the name Cave Game, but the next day in development, the name was actually changed to Minecraft Order of the Stone, then shortly after, it was shortened to Minecraft. In older versions of Minecraft, in creative mode, mobs would actually aggro towards the player and attempt to attack the player, even though they weren't able to kill you, unless a creeper exploded on your house, of course, which would be pretty annoying. Ocelots do not take full damage. In earlier versions of Minecraft, on June 1st, the only splash that would be displayed on the title screen was Happy Birthday Notch, as his birthday is on June 1st. However, this splash was removed as of the 1.8 update, since Notch no longer works for Mojang. In Minecraft Alpha 1.2.2, players could actually spawn an activated nether portal by pressing the F4 key on their keyboard. You are able to create a nether portal by only using a water bucket and a lava bucket. Just do the following. Hostile mobs can now control minecarts and move it towards you. So look out for the creepers. In unused areas for both the Guardian and Elder Guardian texture, the name Jeb can be seen as these textures were created by Jeb himself, the lead developer at Mojang. You can create an infinite source of snow by doing the following. When horse armor was first added in the 1.6 snapshots, you were actually able to craft it as you can see on screen. In the in-dev phase of Minecraft, there was actually a world type called Hell, which was a survival island type world completely surrounded by lava. The Diamonds to You achievement is an achievement for throwing diamonds at another player, but it can actually be obtained in single player if you throw a diamond at a zombie. Eggs are actually able to break leads. The end stone's texture is actually the cobblestone texture but with inverted colours. You are actually able to ender pearl through glass. When endermen were first added into the game, they actually used the mob sounds for the zombie as a placeholder. Take a listen. <laughs> Pressing F3 and H on your keyboard will show the amount of durability that is left on your tools. If you have ice placed underneath grass path blocks, then grass paths will actually act as ice, meaning you can sprint faster on it. Guardians will attack and kill squids. Creepers are scared of ocelots. In the Minecraft 1.8 update, there was a slight change made to all the mobs in the game where they would actually run away from creepers when they were about to explode. However, this feature didn't last too long as it was removed in the Minecraft 1.8.1 update. In the InfDev version of Minecraft, there was a generated structure you could find known as a brick pyramid that would spawn far away from the spawn point. Cauldrons will slowly fill up with water when it is raining. In earlier versions of Minecraft, you were able to give yourself fire by using commands and craft chain armor, which as most of you know is the only armor you are not able to craft in Minecraft today. Cobblestone takes slightly longer to mine than regular stone. In earlier versions of Minecraft, the decorations block item in the creative inventory was originally a rose rather than a peony. You can reduce a creeper's detection range by 50% if you are wearing a creeper mob head. Bats are the only mobs in Minecraft that will not drop any 
XP. Blazers and Endermen will take half a heart of damage if they are splashed by a bottle of water. Both passive and hostile mobs cannot fit through a one by one fence gap, but players actually can. So just simply replace one of the regular fences with a nether brick fence and you will have easy access in and out of your farm. When shields were first added, they originally only blocked 66% of damage inflicted on the player, but in Minecraft 1.11, they block 100% of damage. The Evoker mob will change the wall color of any blue sheep within 16 blocks to a red sheep. The villagers were inspired by the shopkeepers in the game Dungeon Master 2. There is an unused texture in the game files of Minecraft for an angry faced villager. Here is what the angry villager looks like in game. In the pre-classic version of Minecraft, you can spawn human Steve mobs by pressing the G key on your keyboard. You can literally spam the G key and you'll spawn so many of them. It's crazy. If a vindicator is named Johnny with a name tag, they will attack any nearby mobs. Back in the earlier days of Minecraft, in version beta 1.9, jumping would cause the player to gain XP for some reason. If you hover over the play button on the new Minecraft PC launcher, a random mob will appear in the bottom right corner. As of the Minecraft 1.12 update, beds now appear 3D in the inventory rather than looking like this. I'm quite glad they changed this to be honest. In Minecraft Alpha, the top of the furnace texture was the same as stone, which meant it was very easy to hide them from other players as you could just simply blend them in with regular stone. The 1.6 release poster showed a blue robed villager in the background. However, such villager has never been seen in game. Sapling was the first ever item added into Minecraft as it was the only item available in Minecraft pre-classic. As of Minecraft 1.12, if you fall from a height onto a bed, then the bed will absorb some of the fall damage, which means you won't lose as much health. When wooden planks were first added into Minecraft, they looked like this. So uh, yeah, they look a lot different in this version. Fishing out a leather boot in Minecraft is actually a reference to Link fishing an old boot in The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Zombies have a 0.04% chance to spawn wearing diamond armor. You can tow a horse from a boat in water by using a lead. Villagers will always regenerate two hearts of health whenever you trade with them. When TNT explodes in lava, it does no damage to the surrounding terrain. Back in the earlier days of Minecraft, TNT was active by just simply punching it. Studded armor were unused armor sprites that looked very similar to chain armor and they were made by Notch but they never made it into the final game for some reason. Back in the earlier days of Minecraft, stone slabs were originally crafted using cobblestone which didn't really make sense but fair enough. In earlier versions of Minecraft, stairs in the inventory would face left, but in Minecraft today, they now face right, as you can see on screen. Snow golems do not create snow trails when they are on soul sand. When snow golems were first added into the game, they didn't have pumpkins on their head at all, so you can just see the silly faces that they have. Pigs can climb vines and ladders. Back in the earlier days of Minecraft, in the alpha phase of the game, all pickaxes had much less durability than they do today, meaning they'd break a lot faster. You will always pick up items in the order you throw them in, which 
which I think is quite cool. In the in-dev phase of Minecraft, there was a world type called Hell, which featured less lighting, allowed for mobs to spawn, and lava would surround the island. So, uh, yeah, this world type looked amazing, and it's very challenging too. Gold ore generates on the surface in mesa biomes. The fishing rod will take double the durability damage if it lands on land. Dyed wooden planks were a planned feature to be added into Minecraft, but the idea was cancelled, which resulted in hardened clay being added instead, which is really sad because I really liked the look of dyed wooden planks. You cannot see through clouds when looking upwards, but you can see through them when you're above them. But anyways, that just about does it for facts you didn't know about Minecraft. Be sure to let me know in the comments how many of the facts that you knew. But yeah, thank you so much for watching the video everybody i really hope you all enjoyed it i worked very hard on this video not gonna lie it took a very long time to make but yeah i hope it was worth it so thank you so much for watching everybody have a fantastic day and i will see you all in my next video goodbye katie is amazing but also a bit of a peasant